What's happening, people? Welcome back to the next episode of The Profane Cleric. That's right. In between the last episode and this episode, finally came up with a name for the build. Obviously, it was already on the title for the first video, but you know what? I thought about it in between. So I'm just going to do a quick recap for those who may be curious as to what gear we have. Rockin' Herald Sword. Go watch the beginning of the first episode if you're curious about this weapon. Going to get nerfed, so grab it now. And then we also have this Iron War X of Embers. I was going to sell it, but the vendors ran out of gold because I sold a bunch of shit in Windhelm. Big, big improvement we have here is the uh, Staff of Hag's Wrath. The uh, Repentance quest is a very nice starting quest. Highly recommend. And of course, we got lucky with the uh, Lightning Bolt Staff. So I've got both of those. Got super lucky with the uh, Puncturing Gauntlets. And then just uh, also got pretty lucky with the uh, Necklace of Regeneration. We've had some pretty good... RNG so far on random uh, equipment spells. We did level up to 25 resto. So we have arcane ward two and heal self rank two. So we are ready to jump in to some winter or not winter hold Windhelm Windhelm bandit content. I've been looking for you. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Looks like that's it. Got hmm. go. Strange. I don't know who knows, and I don't know what they know. All I know is we've got some bandits to kill, and I'm excited because in Trader's Post, there's a new unique named bandit added by uh, Ghoul Smashers mod. The name always escapes me. It's like more unique bandits, or not bandits, but it's more unique enemies or something like that. You guys should check it out. Add some spice to your, your Skyrim. I'm all about that spice. Uh, do I even have food active? Probably not. Take one of those. Ooh. I saw you went invisible. Oh, hello. Assuming the one shooting fireballs is probably the new unique named one. Oh. Probably this guy right here. It's like a... Holy shit, he hits hard. Okay, so uh, don't get hit by him. Noted. Man, we really need to get a mace. The more optimal thing here would have been to go to White Run and get Bouncer, but let's try to put off White Run for a little bit. You can't beat me. His movement speed is fucking terrifying. Is that an Elven War Axe? Looks like it. Okay. We also need to get some more gold so that we can buy Funerary, right? I'm almost there. Oh god. I think they're finally out of. Cool. All right, we need to not do that anymore. We need to just focus on the combat that we have. They definitely have sword perks because they swing hella fast. You won't get the best of 
using like my entire magic pool here. I'll probably run back to town after this one and go grab funerary right because I should have enough gold after this. Damn it, I tried to fucking dodge into him, but it messed up for some reason. That's what I was trying to do. That's like kind of the goal of this build now that we have the dodge perk is you can just kind of dodge into people to avoid their attacks and then uh, get your counter attack in. Oh, that's lame. Oh, well, I probably auto looted his uh, insights. It'd be interesting if he had some like heavy armor magicka enchanted gear. I think I killed somebody over here, right? I think I already looted them, though. Uh, I do have another bestial stew, and that's the only active effect I have running. So I think what I'll do is I'll run back to town after I loot Trader's Post and then I'll go ahead because I still have a room at the end, replenish my Magicka and then get Funerary right and then we'll take on the next ones. Is that a fucking saber cat or a bear? I can't tell. Okay, what am I still in combat with? That is a saber cat. Sabercat is scary. There's one in sight. And then I'm sure you guys probably... Ooh, I hear something fighting. Ooh. Another... Heavy armored guy. Let's see what you've got. Since we know we're going to be regioning our magica, anyways, we can use some of this ward. I'm pretty much just using wards like shields, but a more mobile version of shields. Which of course we just don't uh, block as much damage as shields. But still mitigates damage and we're in light armor, so that helps out a lot. Still in combat with something. I'm not sure what it is. Is there another saber cat up here? There's this guy up here. Near the borders, there's always like a highwayman. Or highway woman. That's the uh, that's the idea behind the build right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go loot the top of Trader's Post real quick, and then I'm still in combat. What the hell? And then I'm gonna go grab Funerary right, and rest up, get our magic back. First, we're gonna loot Trader's Post. You guys didn't see it in my last one? Well, you'll see it in this one. Oh, Elven Mace. That's actually really good. We needed a mace. Oops. Until we get Bouncer. Having a mace is just good. What's the damage on it? It's 95, so it's slightly less than my... I do this, yeah. Slightly less than my sword, but... That's okay. We needed a mace to get through some armor, especially now that we have armor pen.
Okay, we're at the wreck of the Winter War. It's our next location here. Lots of archers. Pretty annoying camp, not gonna lie. Nobody looks to be particularly high level, but time to die. Somebody hit decently hard, though. One down. Okay, that one I need to worry about. Yeah, this is why you have the ward up. Until we get blur, that's probably my next financial investment. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I miss that? Okay, we don't need to waste the last charge or two. Ah, dwarven arrows. That's why that was hurting so bad. Uh, so something else, when I went to go sleep in Windhelm, kind of forgot that we had uh, Start of the Dark Brotherhood. And I don't know if I talked about this already, but my plans were to join the Dark Brotherhood to get the uh, Ancient Shrouded set. Uh, let me just favorite this right here. I think I've already initialized, right? Maybe. Well, we're going to do it now. We haven't. Uh, but yeah, Ancient Shrouded set is kind of like the, I guess, in-game gear, unless we find any, like, crazy enchanted pieces. Like, the hood can be replaced pretty easily. The gauntlets could be replaced, because, I mean, we already found some armor-penetrating gauntlets that are really strong. Uh, I could use some more salmon. I need a lot of more raw meat for the uh, bestial stew. Ooh, four insights. I'll gladly take four. Four is nice. Oops. And I noticed on my way over here, I think there's another camp that I forgot to grab the bounty for. Well, we'll know for next time. Okay. It's like right over there. Maybe we'll get some lucky and have some wolves. I want to see one wolf over there. Go fight him first. Just so he and whatever friends he might have nearby don't decide to sneak up on me. Sneak up on me in the middle of a bandit fight. And there's the sneaking up part. And there's rock joint. That's annoying. I think rock joint though only affects my dexterity and pickpocket, so it's not terrible. Also, totally forgot to be doing this. The other wolf. Thank you, Forn and Veggie. Thank you, Veggie, for making Forn do this or ha asking Forn to do this. But wolves can now be used with funerary right, which is nice. Oops. I forgot to use it on the bandits that were up there. Shit. And we're out of charges. Oh, 
Okay, I just really wanted to take care of the ranged guy first. Okay, looks like all of these guys are heavy armor, so... Wow, how did he hit me there? Oh, do they not want to cross the water? I'll show you what a real lord can do. Let's say I'm not going to trust it. Ooh, that was close. If it wasn't for the dodge perk there, we would have been toast. Well, luckily for us, the others decided to stay behind. You puny weakling. I'll shatter your bones like glass. Not so tough now, are you? Am I out of healing potions? That's bad. It's even worse because we need uh We need our gold for oh god. This is not looking good, is it? I need to just kill him. I'll show you what a real orc can do. God. I cannot. Oh. Oh. This is what you want. Oh. Just die. This is really bad. I can't believe I'm out of healing potions. Wait, did I loot him? Damn, I think I forgot to loot him. Okay, that would leave us to not to have enough for a funerary, right? Might not be able to do Glacier Camp until uh, we get some more healing potions. I need to buy Blur, but I think uh, healing potions are going to be a little more important here. Oh, let's see. At least with the auto loot mod, I don't have to worry about losing insights from accidentally funerary riding somebody too soon. Apprentice? Okay, so I need to come back here anyways with a scroll of knock. Alright, back from running back to Windhelm. Got a uh, scroll of knock. Oh, apparently we're in combat with something. Boy, something up there. Uh, made some more bestial stews. Oh, we also have a bunch of insights that we need to take. So let's go ahead and level up some skills while we head to the next camp. Oh wow, we have a lot. Uh, we were working on alteration. I think this camp has quite a, quite the amount of bandits. Might not be a camp we're exactly ready for, but if we have to run, we have to run. We're just getting everything leveled up here. Um, I think next is probably restoration to 50. Already working on our level 50s. So we've got base 120 stamina. I want base 125 stamina. And then we can start pumping points into health. So now we've got two perks to spend. First perk is going to be in one-handed, and then I can't remember exactly what I was going to do with the next perk. So I'm just going to hang on to it for now. I might grab Mace Focus. We'll see. But for now, I think we're all right. 
if I do decide to grab Mace Focus, I'll probably go grab the Blessing of Zenithar. Ah, and here is a worrisome opponent. Now, actually, what I wouldn't mind doing is getting the bandits riled up here. And letting the bandits fight the saber cat. Maybe I can pick off a couple bandits while they fight the saber. Looks like they took care of the saber cat, but I don't think I have any archers left to deal with. Which is the main thing here. Okay. Just gotta watch my stamina management. You're dead. You hear me? I'm never tired of killing these bastards. Might have to switch to the mace again, but the sword does pretty decent damage and lets me play a little bit safer. Oh yeah, the sword does enough damage. Even against these heavy armored ones. It's mostly just the uh, archer we're looking at. Alright, I want to test the damage here. So, 66. Just 54, wow. The sword just does that much more damage? That doesn't seem right. But I guess they both have the same level of armor pin and the sword does have more base damage. Yes, healing potions. That's exactly what we need. Didn't really lose a lot of magic, but go ahead and clean those corpses up. Go back to full. Another adept. I knew I should have bought another... Another scroll of knock. Just be another one we have to come back to. Okay, let's go ahead and get this chest now that we got a scroll of knock. Uh, cool. We got some insights. Go ahead and use those. Continue working on restoration. Well, on to our next location. And our random wildlife spawns over here happen to be a couple frost trolls. Saw them in the distance, so figured I'd better start recording. Alright, there's one down. Luckily, the other one just sat there and taunted for a while. So that actually worked to our, our favor pretty well. There we go. No, I don't even need a funerary item because I didn't lose any magicka. Uh, the next location is just right up here, so not really a sense in cutting to it. I'll just make you guys hang out. Also, there's sometimes a person to fight up here. Oh, looks like this person took care of them. A shovel? Guess he was ready to dig his own grave. So right up over here beyond the waterfall is Uttering Hills Cave. This one can be a little bit challenging. The interior, you can get swarmed pretty quickly with everybody in the final, like, downstairs location. Uh, let's see here. We can put a bolt on. Cool, we missed. Ah! 
that a dwarven sword? Ooh, no, it's elven. Damn. Or is it dwarven? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> You're swinging too fast. I think it's dwarven. Place your bets. It's dwarven. Ooh, that actually might be better than what we have now. It is. Oh, hello. Upgrades. We can finally go turn in. What's his face's quest? Heralds. Because now we got a better sword. Because this is 111. Uh, oh, never mind. This is 139. Jeez, man. Better than Dwarven. Yeah, Foreign's nerfing that. I forgot that we took the uh, second perk in one handed. So that gave us some increased damage. That'll put us up to full. Yep. Cool. I don't think there's a chest out here. Okay. Off to the interior. Chilling oil. No, let's go ahead and use it. Something I really like about the new oils is that they're actually useful. Whereas before, you got like a poison of damage magicka or damage stamina or something. And it just felt utterly useless. That's like another good use of the ward that we have. Is that we can kind of hold it as we walk into bandits to try to get inside their conal range to get around it. Let's see, I want to put the bolt of fire on. There's usually one marksman down here and I would like to get a chunk of damage in right off the bat. Well, we won't be doing that. Okay, apparently that has auto aim. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Hmm. <laughs> He's canceling his power attacks with his ward. Okay, I just gotta make sure nobody's coming up from that way. I'm gonna put you down. I think uh, Forn should make. Oh god. Vampires wield the ancient Nord weapons since they do more damage when wielded by an undead. This can be a little bit scary in here because of the terrain. Might be worth taking them outside. I think I'm going to. I don't want to get caught on a rock. So I can have them pretty easily inside here. Oops. Okay, we gotta watch the stamina here. Need to create some distance, though. At least we don't have any archers to deal with. That's the main thing here. The formation they have going on is a little scary. So I gotta be careful. Alright, I just need to get him down. Okay. Oh, he was actually the bounty holder. The cool thing is, actually, wait, can you? Okay, yeah, so unless you have the perk that lets you move, like, with your shield up, you can't dodge while blocking, but you can hold your ward while uh, dodging. Which is just like a safe way to get around people. Go ahead, try and 
Because at least this way, if I get hit, whew, like I did there, <laughs> I have the ward up, at least I take less damage, especially once we get into some of the later wards. Yeah, but I need to stop, like, trying to be fancy and, and just play. Oops, I didn't mean to take the armor. Damn it, took the armor again. Ooh, burning oil fair. Nice. Alright, go loot the interior. I think that's all the bandits. So we should be good on that front. At this point, it's just the loot. And I don't really need to spend too much of my magic on healing because we have the healing poultice up. There we did. That was a gradual restore health, yeah. Put the healing poultice on. We can also level up. Two points and a resto. I want to get resto to 50 so that we can get the uh, perk that lets us. Oh, you know what? You know what perks I do need to grab? Actually, I need to grab alteration. That's what we needed. I want to get the perks that uh, let us, or the perk that lets us reach, uh, restore more magicka, or restore more health with the healing spells. So I think I'll grab transmute blood. Actually, I don't know. Mage armor one, absorbing grasp, and then empowered alterations. Because we don't need, we don't really need absorbing grasp yet. Actually, I don't know. It might not be bad. We'll try it out. Uh, but I do want mage armor. And until we get this staff recharged, I guess we don't really need it hotkey, do we? Curious how much that costs. Oops, I didn't mean to cast it. I meant to put this on, but oh well. Uh, what's that put our armor rating at? Five. 43 with shield up 622 probably not going to carry the shield much longer I don't think there's really many instances where we need it at this point now that we have a uh, ward 2 Uh, two insights is okay. 318 gold's nice, though. Definitely nice to get some gold. Okay. Uh, I think it's time for... Ralbathar. I kind of want to see how much damage we do to a, uh, Dwarven Sphere. Kind of sad that Funerary Rite doesn't work on automatons anymore. I don't know why that necessarily needed to be changed. But I guess it just makes going through uh, Dwemer dungeons now like super difficult. I mean, I guess maybe if we made it like only spheres it would be OK. Like just the spiders know. But yeah, it's just going to make going through those dungeons a lot more challenging now. I guess the spiders with their electric shock, whenever they explode, there's a good chance that you're going to absorb that anyways. So I guess there's also that. Sorry, Fox. I need raw meat. Your pelt's actually worth a decent amount. Okay, I think I can take this one on without uh, our oil. Can I out DPS him when I have no stamina? Yes, <laughs> just barely. That would have been really bad if he got up and started attacking. <laughs>
that point, it would have been pop a stamina potion and retreat. And then use the burning oil. All right, the outside here is a little bit scary. We can uh, we can run past the first dude, but we got to take out at least one of the archers and then focus the other one. Oh god, and then I just realized that our food is probably yeah. out. Dude, what the fuck? My game like lagged there for a second and I couldn't tell what the hell was going on. I got disoriented. That's what taunting gets you, buddy. Yeah, that game lag there almost killed me. Oh, I didn't grab the lockpick. It's okay. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. I feel like we've done a lot. Maybe not. I don't know. Should be alright. I still have like two more locations I wanted to do after this. I just gotta watch out for the archer. I'll show you Stupid doors. God, dude. Freaking marksmen's are insane. I wasn't like trying to cancel or anything to get to him faster. In fact, I think it makes it slower. But I just realized that my range wasn't going to be enough. I'll show you a real fight. <laughs> Dude. These guys are cracked. God, where's the fucking stairs? Pray to stench while you can. Okay. There we go. That was terrifying. Uh, pretty low on magicka, which is a little annoying. That freaking marksman, though had some perks because they were hitting pretty damned hard I think our mage armor is off right yeah figured we only have like five minutes left on bestials too uh, so unfortunately we don't have enough to go and fight the spheres I don't think but I still want to get the loot out of here we're gonna be looking pretty good once we have once we get our seals to 50, because we're going to have a decent amount of greater insights to use. Just to check. Yep, that was fixed. Quote unquote fixed. That's why the dodge perk is so good.
Now this guy can be a little scary. Especially when you miss like that. I'm gonna put you down. He's gonna what? Fuck. Where are you? I should have went and killed the other one first. You're gonna pay. No the only reason I'm switching to the shield here is just a little more reliable to cancel. And just the extra armor rating is good. Um, I'll loot him in a minute because there is another guy here. Okay. That's Raldathar. Uh, how much time do I have left on my beef stew? Beast oh no, beef steel stew. I'm good. Never mind. I had plenty of time. It was my healing poultice that was running out. That's okay to run out. What did I just grab? Scaled boots. I don't want those. I already got those. All right, it's cool. We got some upgrades. The only thing we're not really uh, worried about is the gauntlets. But everything else is technically an upgrade. I mean, we were already wearing scaled. It's just now we're wearing enchanted scaled. I mean, extra 16 MR is not bad. 30 points of stamina, though, is what we really wanted. And I don't think we really care about Aegis Bane. I guess I could try and sell it, but I don't think I'm going to end up with enough carry weight to be able to sell it. Let's see what our enchanted gear is. Now, something I should have done was bought more scrolls of knock. I'll probably come back here with some scrolls of knock. Because without the knock scrolls, you only get a couple chests. Uh, thunderbolts. I'm good. Carry weight's nice. And. Oh, now that's good. Now that's actually freaking good I like that that does put us over so I am going to get rid of Aegis Bane and I'm going to get rid of this too uh, I don't know what to put this on yet but this is actually really nice because we are going to be going maces and I'm just curious let's see that's 131 this is 139 but these guys have pretty good uh, slash resistance so I think this will be better Absorb health is pretty good, too. Go ahead and get some levels in first. Alright, we only need 15 more to get the Resto 50. Uh, I am going to do the shield just for the extra armor rating. Yeah, we don't do a ton of damage yet. Oh, that's awkward. Normally he doesn't do this. That's kind of annoying. Okay. okay I actually want to see. We're doing a little bit less damage, but it's probably a little bit safer. Just because the recovery times are so much better. Oops. Yeah, it's not really worth going through the whole dungeon for. Just because I won't be able to take on multiple. So, we know where we stand now at least. We're finally going to finish the Skuma quest for the Jarl of Riften. Over here at... Crags Lane. Time we'll get die. some nice loot from this dungeon, and then we'll also get the bounty and the quest as well. So this is a very well worth going to uh, dungeon. And 
Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I'm out of carry weight. Okay, let's see here what we have that's too heavy. Uh, this staff might have to end up going at some point. Hmm. Probably don't need these mammoth stakes. I don't need all the wolf pelts either. And I'm probably accumulating too much raw meat now. We should be good though. Actually, is there a cook pot? There is. Cool. We can convert some of this weight down then. There we go. Must have a lot of waste when making bestial stew. If you end up with that much carry weight when you're done. So there's actually like a kind of like a glitch, like a vanilla glitch with this dungeon that if you clear it out before you start the skooma quest and then you do the skooma quest, you have to wait till it resets uh, in order to be able to clear it again. But it does regenerate the boss chest, which is nice. Look what we have here. Just to massacre here. I need to actually watch my stamina though. Oh boy. This is why we need to watch the stamina. Oops, that's not the spell I wanted. The mage armor spell, not too useful yet, just because of how much magicka it costs. But whenever we get, like, the magic resistance perk, that's when it starts becoming a lot more, uh, useful. You're dead. You hear me? Dead! And there's the key. Oh yeah, we can also... I might not be able to because these are... Closed, yep. Yeah. Might as well heal up first, and then start funerary riding everybody. Oops, did I take his clothes by accident? His hat. That should get us close to full. No, not quite. Not too far off though. We also have some levels. Uh, two insights. Ah, oh, staff of fireballs. It's not terrible, but we do have an incinerate staff that outshines that just a little bit. Ah, necklace of sneaking. Interesting. At least we can sell that. Sorry, boys. Need you for your magicka. So we've got one more. Oops. A little dungeon to go to next door. Go ahead and level up. We got six. So once we get restoration to 50, the next thing we need to work on is getting uh, one handed to 50. I think I need to save this perk. I think we'll level up again when we get to 50 restoration, but just in case. Alright, 
So the next one we have is Stony Creek. And if I can remember, I try to take off the level up menu power just so I don't accidentally do it in combat. I know I was complaining about needing raw meat, but now I have too much raw meat. I don't need any more. We're good. This should be our last location for this episode. Close it out with a nice uh, boss chest at the end. Which is a little cheesy, but hey. It's three tweaks, man. It's all about being cheesy. It is nice to have the dodge perk while casting a spell. like this fighting area. That's also something you can do. You can give the uh, bandits the old Dunmer treatment of holding your ward and then attacking. So you'll get the favorable trade. And tricksters are a little less scary. I know this room up here is usually a trickster. And thanks to decent level wards, they're not as scary. Well, he had two, like, worthless scrolls. Well, I guess he did use his other scroll. Which treasure map is this? Oh, this is the one in Illinalta's lake. That one's kind of close to where the giant slaughter fish is, so... Don't know if I feel like fucking with that one. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to funerary him. That's okay. Can we funerary this? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, there should be one more dude. And our boss chest, 78 gold. Okay, if I can, if I can remember how to get up here. Of course, that's not the boss chest. The real boss chest is up here. There we go. Going into Kagrin Zell. I'm sure most of you know about this. If not, well, here you go. There's 
There's a nice little chest right here. Ebony Warhammer of Debilitation. I'm not even going to take that to sell it. I will take that. That's kind of nice. Um, I'll take this to sell it, but I don't have the carry weight to sell that. Wait, is debilitation absorb or is that drain stamina? Yeah, see that that even is pretty useless. Okay, well that concludes episode two. Uh, in episode three, we are actually going to make our way to White Run. I want to go grab Bouncer and just do a couple camps over there, get some level ups. I guess we can go ahead and get two level ups here. Boom. All right, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.